Sometimes it takes the purity of a child to remind us of our generosity. There's a story in Soul Food by Jack Hornfield and Christina Feldman. It's set in Illinois. There's a young family, an eight-year-old daughter and a six-year-old son. And the girl contracts this rare blood disease. And they are looking for a donor, a blood donor that will match for her. And they're, you know, they got the all call out and, and nothing is coming in and she's getting weaker. And they realize that her six-year-old little brother actually is a match. And so the mother and the minister and the doctor sit down with the six-year-old boy and they ask him if he'd be willing to contribute his blood to save his sister's life. He says he has to think about it. And several days go by before he comes to his mother and says, I've made my decision. I will do this. And so this brave little boy and his, and his sister go to the hospital with the doctor and the doctor sets it up in a way that's really um, friendly for them and helpful for them to see what's happening. So they have their two cots together and he takes a half a pint of blood from the, the boy and he says, now he, he wants him to see the effects, which are pretty immediate, of putting that blood into his sister. And so you could see the color starts to flush in her cheeks and she starts to look a whole lot healthier just from that simple transfusion. Then the boy calls to the doctor and he says, come here. And he wants to say this in secret. And so he whispers to the doctor, how long before I die? You see, in his literal mind, he thought that giving blood to his sister to save her life was giving his life. Now that is amazing generosity. It doesn't really get any bigger than that or any purer than that. And the truth is, that's how we're wired. That's how we come in or that's how we've been created, to be that generous to be that caring, to be that loving, because we are inseparable from the divine. We just have forgotten. The Wendigo has forgotten. The Wendigo has forgotten who they are. The Wendigo has forgotten the way of the divine. And it is truly our work to dream a new world, to dream a, a different dream for the modern world one that is marked by this divine quality of generosity and that erases and lets go and dissolves greed.